All right, y'all. Just left the agency. Um, I had it recording. I started recording, but as soon as I walked in that joint, Veronica, she's going to say something. All right, time to put you in the hot seat. I'm like, bro. But, yeah, I just stopped the camera there. It was talking to me about cutting my hair, which I kind of don't really want to do. But, like, I might do it because I see, like, I get everything they're saying for real, for real. Fuck you, looking at the kid. See what they're saying in terms of, like, doing it for my career and, you know, this um, industry is, like, very fast paced, always moving, always changing, like, trends come and go and shit. So, it's, like, not saying they're saying, telling me to do it for a trend or anything or even for the agency or not agency or even for the industry, just to have something fresh in my book. And it's, like, to their point, is I've been like something fresh is in like a fresh new look and to the point like I've been booking and I brought this up to them like the fact that I've been booking with my you know regular hair length but it's like um I'm booking and then I get there and they're saying oh we thought your hair was shorter oh can we do your hair like this and I'm like nah because my hair you know that's an old picture it's not gonna fall the same or anything. It's not gonna look right. Um, so they'll like mock it to make make it look like a false front kind of. It's not a false front because you know this is the front of my hair. But like they're trying to like make it seem, give the illusion that it's all the same length and shit. Basically because these fucking idiots don't know what the fuck to do with ethnic ethnic people hair, ethnic or black people's hair. Basically, simply put. So. Yeah, it's like, I'm all for it in terms of giving like a new fresh look or something for my career. And maybe I'll book more and shit. But I'm like 100% certain that we're gonna get different responses from clients if I were to do this. And I'm certain like, you know, I'm gonna book, I know I'm gonna book regardless, but we wanna be booking more and we want to be looking more consistently and we want more money. So it's like, I, on that level, I get it and I'm not against it on that level, but it's like my whole upbringing and you know, how I was raised, the type of household I was raised in, I was raised in a Rastafarian household. So if any of you know anything about anything, then you would know like locks is literally part of it. Like it's, it's not just, a fucking look it's a lifestyle type shit so but there's that but you know i am really leaning into it like i was telling veronica like some days i'll wake up and be like all right i'm gonna do it the other days i'll wake up and be like no i'm not doing it but today um like they like i showed you in the vlog today but you saw how they did my hair today and i was like i kind of fuck with it like that and I see how it looks and I might just, you know, do a little chop, get it reattached, but definitely try and get these clients back on our dick, <laughs> basically. And we try and get Polo, she's like, we really try and get you back in shooting for Rob Lauren. And, you know, we need to switch the look up. So however you want to put it, they want me to cut my hair so I could book more. I personally understand it from a career point of view and where I want to take my career and shit. But right now, in the moment, it's like, no, because, you know, like I just said, this is like part of my lifestyle. But it's only temporary. You might get, them, get these joints reattached. But I have until Friday to decide what I'm doing. I think I already know what I'm doing because it's low-key the same situation as the vaccine. It's like, it's taking a risk. It's like you could do this and go overseas and book money gigs, or you could not do this and, you know, stay stagnant, stay where you're at. And I'm not trying to stay stagnant. So to keep moving forward, we might have to update the look. I hate to say it, but it's like most of my hair is already the same short shoulder length 
So it will really just be like evening out for real, for real. And then we'll see what type of feedback we get from these clients, man. Uh, I'm not a sellout, you fuckers. But yeah, that's basically what we talked about. And um, they literally uh, triple teamed me and shit. Like it was three of them all telling me to do it. And then she's like, how about I call Harold? I'm gonna call Harold, your mother agency. See what he has to say. And then she put me on the spot once again. So it is what it is. Knew I was gonna be a millionaire. I got actually grounded and prepared to be a millionaire. So eventually I became a millionaire.